Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to take just a normal USB stick and make it a crypto wallet for offline purpose. Now, you may be wondering why would you want to store like your crypto on a USB and like offline? Well, instead of storing it in an exchange, you can store it on a USB and keep it portable and offline and store it somewhere and keep your crypto safe. And you can use this for like a mining wallet as well. So let's say you mine Dogecoin and like that's what you focus on for mining. You can take the wallet address for this, set it up and everything, get mining to it. Then you'll be able to take the coins that are mined and they'll be sent to that address. And then next time you go plug it into your computer to view your coins, it will update with the blockchain information. It just obviously has to have the internet connection to do that. But you're keeping it in its own like the centralized wallet instead of keeping it on an exchange where technically it's not yours you'll have the private keys for this and everything will be offline and just for your access in case it gets stolen you can pass password protect it and a few other things but we won't go too in depth with that we'll just focus on setting up just the usb with the crypto wallet on it and you can do this with a 4 gig and up usb and you can do this with any kind of usb but like i said i recommend at least 4 gigs and up i just have like a 64 gig usb i just said go big or grow home just in case for blockchain information and things like that and depending on the amount of coins you're going to store and just there's a different variables to take into play so first off you're obviously going to want to plug your usb in and once you plug your usb in you just want to format it right away i've already done that i plugged it in i format it so there's nothing on it and just when you go to format it format it to the default so whatever variables and then name it whatever you want you can name it like your wallet or crypto wallet or whatever you want just uh, name it in the volume label and then once we do that we can close out of that and then you want to go in the description of the video and click on the link here and it's going to bring you to this app and this website called coinami and what this is is just a blockchain wallet so kind of like trust wallet and other apps and you can use this on windows mac linux ios android and that's another thing as well i can make a video you can store this on like an old cell phone if you have one and just keep it portable with you and just store it somewhere so you can just mine 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 and then eventually a few years later find your wallet and pull it out and see what you have but once you're over on this website you just want to scroll down and since we're just doing this on windows you just want to click the download for the coinami wallet for windows and once that's done, you just want to open up the installer itself. So once it's done downloading here, you just want to open up the installer wherever you have it downloaded. Mine's just on the bottom bar here. So you're just going to click on it and then you're just going to let it open here. This might take a second here. And then you just want to click yes um, for the Windows pop up there for the Windows security. And then you're going to have the uh, installer window or the setup window if you call it. And then you just want to on the first thing here, click I accept the agreement. And then this is where you're going to set up your wallet here. So when you're on this next step, so right after the first step, you want to click on this browse button. And when this brings it up here, you just want to minimize the programs file or whatever file it's in. And then you just want to minimize your local C. And then you just want to click onto your USB. So you just want to make sure it is located and like you see it right here, D and then the colon and wallet. So you just click on OK and then it will create the directory inside the USB itself and as you see here you need at least 138.7 megabytes so not much required but over time it can grow depending on how many coins you store it blockchain information and such and then what you want to do is once you have your USB selected you just click next and then you don't have to create a desktop shortcut icon because it's just going to be really on your USB and you just don't want to have it like vulnerable this is pretty much so if someone goes and like you get a virus or a hacker uh, they won't really focus on your wallet because it's on the USB stick they can open the app but nothing's going to be there because you need the USB plugged in in order for it to actually retrieve the information so I'm just not going to create a desktop shortcut just to keep it hidden and then you just click install and then this will install it to the USB itself you just leave it here and then it will extract it, install it, and it might take a bit depending on the size of the USB and the speed of it. So I'm just gonna pause it and then I will resume it when it's done. And then once it's done installing or downloading to the USB, it'll come up with this window here, mine just finished. And then you just wanna click the launch Coinami wallet. So we'll click finish and then we're just gonna let it launch. It might just take a minute or two because it's booting off the USB, you have to remember that. So we'll just give it a minute here and let it boot up. 
So as you're gonna see here, it's gonna give you a window and it's gonna say Coinami, welcome to Coinami. Create a wallet or store a wallet. So we wanna create a fresh new wallet cause this is gonna be a fresh USB and everything. So we'll click create a new wallet. So yeah, you see my seed phrase, but I'm gonna go back and create a whole new wallet. This is just for tutorial purposes. But what you want to do with the seed phrase is copy it down either put it into notepad or literally write it down on a piece of paper print it off and store it with the usb or store it somewhere safe you know because when you have the seed phrase this is going to allow you to recover the wallet so if anyone gets access to this they're going to be able to recover your wallet so you want to keep this all this like all these here you want to keep this hidden from people you just want to obviously i'm saying that and i'm showing you guys but like i said this is just tutorial but what you want to do copy it all down copy the information and then we'll just go on to the next step here okay, so i just quickly copied it down to a notepad here like i said i'm not going to keep this as my main wallet here so what you want to do is click i have safely stored my recovery phase either if you printed it off or if you put it in notepad like i said and then click next and then what you have to do here is just put it into the order that you have it like saved with i'm just going to quickly pause the video and then i'll get back to you so once you've copied it from like the notepad or wherever you had it saved you just punch in the words like the same order that it's in and then you click confirm you can skip this but i highly recommend you just go over and confirm your recovery phase and then you want to set up a password for the wallet itself I'm just going to do like a temporary password here just for the tutorial purpose. All right. And once you have your password type, make sure to remember this password as well, because you'll need it if you go to recover it, because this is encrypting everything. All right. So once that's done, you had, you clicked on OK, and then it's going to bring you to this page here. And this is where you're going to select the coins you're actually going to store. And these are the ones that it actually has available right now. So hopefully your coins available. So we'll check like Bitcoin. We'll scroll down a bit. Uh, we're obviously going to do Dogecoin, we'll do Digibyte. So like do a handful of coins, especially if you're following along in like my series of like mining tutorials for budget because like most of the time with budget mining you don't focus on one coin, sometimes you jump around. So you kind of just want to have a good selection. I don't want Ethereum itself. Ethereum Classic sometimes like I used to mine here and there because I don't mind Ethereum Classic. Litecoin Cash or like coin itself so yeah you get the point you just go through and you just want to select the coins that you want to have in the wallet um, there so we had a few selected and you just want to click next and then accept the legal disclaimer you can read it if you want and then boom there you go your wallet is set up and ready to go so now you're probably wondering like for the transferring and everything so as you see there's nothing transferred into here so if you have coins sitting on an exchange you can now transfer it to here and store it offline if we just go to your wallet you can see the coins you selected so if we go to dogecoin for example you can click receive and then it will give you like the code itself like the address sorry the wallet address you can copy that down and then you can put it with like your seed phrase or something so there's the wallet address there so you put that with your mining rig and then all the payments will be sent to this address even though the usb is unplugged i do this with like my laptop with the main dogecoin core wallet my laptop sits off but i sit and mine to the wallet and then when you go online that's when it syncs and updates to the blockchain and you'll get the latest transaction information and such but it's as simple as that and things will be rolling for you and you'll have your own portable blockchain wallet that you can keep offline but before you go in remove the usb itself always make sure to safely remove the usb so if you go up in like your taskbar here you'll see the usb is right there you can right click it and click eject and then whatever usb you have and it'll safely remove it so that way nothing gets corrupted or things like that now when it comes to like encrypting the usb itself that's i'm not like really technical with that so that can be left on like upon you to go in depth more with this to take this information and kind of expand on it i can do a video in the future if i learn more about it but what you can do i'll just show you quickly is when you're on this pc so say like the usb itself here since you have like the wallet and everything you can probably get away with locking the folder or locking the usb or encrypting it with a software and then each time you go to use it, you just might have to like enter a password or go through a decryptor in order 
for the wallet to work on Coinami. But like I said, that could be a whole nother video itself. I just wanted to focus on actually setting up the portable USB wallet. So once you're done and on this screen, you'll be good to close down the app itself and remove the USB. But like I said, make sure to get your wallet addresses down, mark them down on like your rigs or wherever you store your wallet addresses. And then you can mine right to it and then everything will be stored offline and no one will have access unless they have that seed phrase. So remember, don't share that. And this will be a fully offline blockchain wallet just through a normal USB. It's like I said, it's not as secure as like, I forget what they're called, the tasers or whatever, the, those actual USBs that are made for wallets and such. This is just a DIY affordable way for most people like miners like myself to kind of keep it stored away in, in your room or something. So that way it's not sitting on an exchange because remember if it's not your keys it's not your coins but yeah hopefully this tutorial helped you and hopefully you learned something from it and hopefully you're able to store your coins offline now nice safely and securely if you did enjoy this video and tutorial make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my tutorial series or my news videos themselves but i hope you all have an amazing day and this is krebsy crypto signing out